how can you not have a good movie when there's hey guys what's up it's me cc and welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome i hope that you would stay subscribe and become a part of the fashion seeks the family we are on vlogmas day Seven. We've been at it for a week. Y'all have been consistent. I've uploaded every week. Description box been filling out. So we just need a, a quick little hand clap for that, okay? I take a break from the vlogs because I figure with COVID going on, we're kind of trying to figure out how to make our Christmas festivities as normal as possible. So I have the bright idea to just tell you guys my top 10 Christmas movies. Um, you can do Zoom parties with your friends. You can invite a small group of friends over, of course, hoping that they have tested negative for COVID. So be safe, you guys. But I just figured that this would be a cute little video for Vlogmas. I am getting ready to actually watch a Christmas movie. I have on my Christmas robe with the little snowflakes on it that I took from my green. First things first, we're gonna start off with movie number 10. And the 10th movie, we'll get the childish stuff out the way first. One of my favorite childhood movies was How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I think that it has a very good backstory to it. I was such a huge Dr. Seuss fan growing up. I believe my mom got that movie for me on like VHS because it came out probably when I was like eight or nine years old. Just, yeah, so How the Grinch Stole Christmas is one of my favorite Christmas movies. I think it's so cute. I really do feel like the Grinch was misunderstood. Um, so I, I love it. I think it's such a cute little, um, it wasn't necessarily animated because the one that I had was the one with the actual people in it, not the cartoon version of, Doc, uh, not the cartoon Dr. Seuss version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. So that is my number my number nine movie is the Home Alone 3. I thought Alex was just so adorable and I just want to pinch his little cheeks and you know everybody's seen Home Alone at this point so I'm not telling the movie but just the way that he took care of Alice and I think that the Home Alone sequel is probably one of the very few movie sequels that was done correctly where like every single movie was like good so that is Christmas movie number nine. I would have to say my next movie, and I, I please don't be offended because I don't know if this went straight to DVD. I don't know that it went to the theater, but The Perfect Holiday with Gabrielle Union, the late, great Charlie Murphy, Morris Chestnut was in the movie. It comes on BET like all the time. I think that movie is so cute um, where, I'm trying not to tell it just in case y'all haven't seen it because you know I am giving you guys this list like the top 10 movies to watch during Christmas season so I don't want to tell y'all the movie but it's a really cute movie you guys have to watch it basically from the previews what you would already gather anyways Gabrielle Union is a single mother of three kids um, she is newly divorced and it basically talks about, you know, just love at Christmas and that single mother going through things that I'm sure single mothers go through when they're trying to date again. So that is another really, really cute Christmas movie that I absolutely love. My seventh Christmas movie would have to be Last Holiday. I don't think that Last Holiday was really like centered around Christmas so much but I really do love that movie. Anything that really makes me like reflect or think on life. Queen Latifah is such a great actress. LL Cool J was in the movie and quite a few other notable actors as well. But you guys already know, it basically was the movie about her um, thinking that she didn't have but so much time to live and she took that opportunity to, you know, go live her wildest dreams so i absolutely love last holiday that movie did kind of make me cry just a little bit and y'all gonna learn like the more that i start to like vlog and like let y'all in like i'm a sin speaking of loving to cry my next favorite christmas movie which would be <sighs> movie number six the best man holiday I went to see this at the movie and I really want to say I went with my mom. I think it was my mom that I went with. That movie made me boo-hoo cry. 
If y'all do not know, the best men, well, I'm sure probably the people that subscribe to me know, but the best men is like a iconic black movie. And to give that sequel, like, I don't want to give it away for those of y'all who haven't seen it. And I was so mad because people, before I got a chance to see it, people were on Twitter kind of like telling what happened. Um, and it is something really major that takes place. I just love Best Man Holiday. It actually came on yesterday and I was watching it crying before I was leaving out the house. So we have my top five. So I feel like y'all might drag me for this. Cause some of y'all probably gonna say this ain't a Christmas movie, but I mean, it took place during Christmas season. Holiday Heart. Holiday Heart is one of my favorite movies, whether we talk about Christmas or just regular movies in general. I love that this movie um, really gave something that was outside of the norms. You guys do know that um, Hollywood was a, um, a drag queen and I, for, if you ain't seen Holiday Heart, then girl, skip past this, cause I, I gotta talk about why this movie touched me so much. To see a movie, especially on something as black as BET, cause this is back when BET was still like black. To see a movie that centered around like a black drag queen and just drag culture and um, just everything that transpired in the movie, like that movie really did touch me. I am also really ignorant, so I laugh at a lot of the parts that probably weren't funny. Like, you know, the, I got the bike, holiday, holiday, I got the bike. When, you know, that part happened, cause I still don't want to ruin it for those of you guys who haven't seen it, but Alfre Woodard, amazing actress. Like that, oh, I just, I love that movie. Holiday Heart is such a good movie. And maybe it's not like the Christmas spirit, but it definitely took place during Christmas. And if you get on Google and look up black Christmas movies, Holiday Heart shows up. So, bloop. I would have to say my next movie that I really, really love for um, holiday season, and this is number four, it will be This Christmas. That had Macabre Pfeiffer fine. That's a man, okay? Makai Pfeiffer, Lauren London, Chris Brown, Loretta Devine, Columbus Short. Um, I'm just really trying to think off the top of my head. Regina uh, King. Oh, that. Idris Elba. How the hell I forget him? That movie was so just star studded and I think it's so cute. It's something that you probably can have your kids watch, of course. I think that movie's like pg-13 if i'm not mistaken but um this christmas is a really cute movie um a dysfunctional family which i'm pretty sure some of us can all kind of relate to um in some way or another so i i really really did love that and the music was amazing chris brown's version of this christmas is one of my favorite christmas songs his little spin on it was super cute so um yeah this christmas is my fourth favorite holiday movie or it's coming in at number four for me the next movie i would have to say will be home alone 2. home alone 2 was a great follow-up to home alone 1. i just i said it earlier when i mentioned like home alone 3. i really 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 love the home alone series that and rush hour are like my favorite sequels for movies kevin was just that little boy was bad as hell like Kevin was horrible and I just I don't know like I just really love that movie so Home Alone 2 was my third holiday movie that I absolutely love and then coming right after Home Alone 2 was Home Alone 1 because the original always sets the tone so I really 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 love those movies anytime home alone is on i don't care if it's christmas season or not i watch home alone i love that movie well the seat to the best christmas movie there is if you know nothing else about me i am a wayne's brothers stan okay that is my favorite sitcom ever oh like i love pops 
So Friday After Next is one of my favorite movies ever. That movie is just funny as hell. That's another movie that I will watch whether it is Christmas time or not. I absolutely love Friday After Next. So that is my top 10 Christmas movies. Of course, if you have children, I don't have to tell y'all how to parent y'all kids. If y'all let y'all kids listen to Cussing in, that's on y'all. But um, if you guys are looking for movies to watch, those are my favorite Christmas movies to watch during the Christmas season and sometimes when it's not Christmas because, you know, I don't really place labels and seasons on certain things. Clearly, I have like peach nails in the middle of winter. But um, yeah, that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Something super quick and super simple for day seven. And yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting on Vlogmas. And I see my new subscribers. Welcome to the family. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, which will be Vlogmas Day 8. So love you guys so much. Bye.